I'm going through major FOMO. It's the national this week, which means there's not gonna be a lot of people in SoCal, probably half of SoCal is at the national in Cleveland. And that's okay, cause today is gonna be my road to the national. Next year's national is gonna be at Chicago and I've had such an amazing experience at Chicago. My first national was back in 2021 and Apart from being my first national, it was 90% of the hobbies, hobbyist first national. It was insane. It was the great curator. He started off with content creating. I did this sad little post about being 25K in debt because I spent so much money on, on sports cards. The next time I go to the national, I wanna be in better spirits. I wanna be in better health and <laughs> I want to have fatter pockets. First time I went to the National, I had $20 left in my pocket after all the expenses, after paying for my hotel, paying for my flight. I went to the first trade night. That shit was phenomenal. The environment was electrifying. There were so many people out there wheeling and dealing, and it made me want to wheel and deal. I met friends that I still keep in contact with till this day. Uh, let's let's break it down my the first time going there it was trade night thursday night i was ready to roll twenty dollars in my pocket i had no money left i couldn't even afford a fucking pizza i had to wheel and deal i was forced to wheel and deal that whole weekend most of my damage that i've done was basically all on trade nights trade nights helped me out tremendously if you don't believe in the power of trade nights, go experience one for yourself this weekend at the National. It is fucking awesome. Then this amazing play happened. I traded a bunch of PSA 9 cards for a Kobe Bryant gold standard at a 24 PSA 7 auto. It basically gave up two tops chrome Kobe Bryant, the 2008 2009 Topps Chrome Kobe when he was backing down LeBron. The LeBron Kobe card is what got me started off in this hobby. I traded those two. I traded uh, City Heights PSA 10 LeBron, a LeBron PSA 10 Marvels, and maybe a couple of other cards that I'm not remembering, but I traded all those cards for a Kobe auto. And I thought that was such a sick ass trade. Then, yeah, then that was night one. Night one, I went from $20 to about $1,000. $800 to $1,000 is not bad at night one. That was sick, right? That was, that was definitely sick. I also, so night two, I made a little more money, sold some raw Otanis. Right now I'm at, 1200 I made a shit ton of money just flipping my cards. I did this massive trade for, <laughs> it was for my Dragon Scale uh, Patrick Mahomes PSA 10. I thought that was the sickest football card I've ever gotten. I'm not even into football. I got a Donovan Mitchell out of it. I think it was a select white prism Donovan Mitchell PSA 10. And later on, I sold it for probably about like $1,200 anyways. But the moral of the story is, if even if you go to the National with a little bit of money, you just need a good personality, an awesome vibe, and with a little bit of luck, you'll come out on top. That whole weekend, I probably came out positive around two two thousand dollars i started off with 20 bucks in my pocket and i turned it into two thousand plus dollars probably even four thousand plus dollars including the kobe all in all it wasn't a bad national it would it made me who i am today i started off with 500 followers on instagram pre-national and i left the weekend with a thousand plus followers uh, all the while feeling like shit because I, 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 did, I did bad my first year in the hobby. I lost, what, to that 25,000 at that time. And I was feeling like shit. My goal for 
next year is to go to the national healthy sound mind and being being able to afford stuff i want to be comfortable way comfortable so i can enjoy this hobby with my hobby friends i miss each and every one of you guys. I miss going out there, boots on the ground, saying hi to every vendor, saying hi to all my friends, creating content that way. Next year is going to be a big year. I'm going to reset the rest of the year. Also, I got a few more updates. I am probably not gonna go through with hobby party anymore because of the state of my health. I'm not saying it's declining or what, whatever, but I do need to nip that in the bud. I need to get seen for multiple injuries and I cannot run a show while, while being in so much pain all the time. Uh, again, I uh, truly am sorry for everyone for getting their hopes up. Uh, I'm no longer going to uh, do the Valley Trade Show. It, it's just not in the cards. But however, I'm never gonna say I'm never going to run another show. It could happen. That run, it was good while it lasted and I'm thankful for all the memories and everyone that has helped me out has helped me shows that i've done it has a very special place in my heart thank you so much everyone but those are my quick updates and i'm excited for the national next year in chicago i'm gonna come back i'm gonna swing for the fences and it's gonna be fucking awesome all right guys again if you guys like my videos i'm starting to ramp up my video creating engine please subscribe to my youtube channel at the la hobbyist and subscribe to my other channels as well uh the la hobbyist breaks uh it's me ajd my personal channel uh where i talk about life love and everything in between all right guys thank you so much i will see you guys hopefully next year at the national in chicago all right guys bye